What's up guys, welcome to my channel. Tonight we're checking out an another artist that's new to me called Dream Note. And this was a song they released a few days ago called Ghost. Uh, this was requested by, I believe, uh, Hector. I don't want to give the last name, even though you'll find it in the comments. But Hector, um, um, I believe, is new to the channel and requested this song. And I usually will check out everything that you guys recommend. Not always, because some of y'all have like five or six recommendations in, in one. But but he, the way he put it, uh, he's like, I don't know if you take recommendations or uh, requests, but this, I would like you to, to listen to this. Just something struck me about it and I was like, cool, you know what, let me let me actually check this out. So, we're checking out Dream Note for the first time. Uh, I know nothing about them, so, alright, let's go. Dream Note, Ghost. Okay. Like a Joyner Lucas logic type intro? Oh shit. Whoa. Okay. Tune down bass. I'm... Love that melody. Those background vocals. Hold on, hold on. Before we get to whatever this hook is going to be. Oh my god, that death stare. Okay. What is going on here? They came like hard, not just hard, but like solid. Who is this? Okay. You know what we're going to do? We don't do this very often, but we're going to just start from the beginning because that was everything. And let that let it vibe in. Let that hook vibe in. Dude, that hook's got a lot to live up to. Yeah, I'm expecting Logic to jump in right here. That is so hard. That tuned down bass, a real bass, before the 808. That's the real bass, right? That is tuned so low. Do, 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 like a carnival. Where are we going? That bass! And those vocals are so powerful. What in the cranberries is this shit? Where the hell did this come from? If you don't know who the Cranberries are, they are a very influential or were a very influential Irish alternative rock band from the 90s. This is giving me zombie vibes. I don't know what they're talking about because there's no subtitles for this. Zombie had a, a obviously a very painful, uh, heart-wrenching type of story involved with it. Uh, very moving. And not to compare it to that in that sense, but just the power of it. It just gives me cranberry vibes. Well, where did they? Okay. Uh, I don't even know what to do. You know what? We're just going to listen to the hook again. And I'm going to pretend I know where that starts. Let's pretend it starts here. Do, 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 do. I love that little carnival vibe. Yeah, I guess they have a horror concept. Yeah, that bass is tuned down so low. Probably like down to C, or drop C. I love it. That is so nice. Please do it again. Yes, they did it again. Being K-pop, I honestly didn't expect them to repeat it. Something like a ghost. The devil voice that uh, K-pop loves. 
Whoa. Stabs. That was cool. Hold on, I need to hear that again. That was... It sounded like one of their voices, but then it sounded like a synth. Hold on. That transition. That was a voice made to sound like a synth. I mean, I guess it was a vocoder or something. It sounded like a male voice, though. It could have been one of theirs tuned... One of their voices tuned down, but okay. Let's go back to let this vibe in again. Love the stabs. And there's surprisingly a lack of sub bass in this mix. Scream in the back. Do, do, do. Circus vibe again. Yeah, they sound really, really good. How have I not heard of them before? And you know what? The funny thing is... I haven't heard one guitar in this... in this mix yet. And they all sound so good. Especially good in this concept. There's our first guitar with that circusy thing again. That's a real drum kit as well. Or at least a sample drum kit. That's a real kick. Which probably explains the lack of sub bass. And I apologize if it sounds like I'm screaming. I have this turned up so loud. She is so beautiful. So is she. Okay. <clears throat> that was unexpected. Hector, thank you. I don't know if you're new here or if you've been around, but... You obviously listened to whatever I was commenting on uh, in the uh, video that you uh, commented on and requested this. And, and you also said that you thought I would like it. And I do. So you must have heard something in those comments, which is awesome. It means you were listening, which is amazing. Okay. That was awesome. I do have thoughts about it. Um, yes, there was a lack of sub bass. Even though there was an 808 uh, in certain sections, um, they didn't do the typical K-pop thing, which is to just that make that sub bass very prevalent. And I think it was because after hearing that chorus and that the drums that they decided to use, this has a, a, a rock vibe, but not even just a rock vibe, like a grunge alternative rock vibe, which is something I haven't heard uh, in a K-pop uh, concept yet. And it makes sense that there wasn't a lot of sub bass uh, throughout the song. However, even though it seems like they were going more towards a rock mix, uh, I feel like it could have it could have done with just a little bit more low end bass because uh, it did feel kind of thin at the bottom. Uh, but that's just a technical thing. The other thing, as far as technical, uh, and then we'll get that out of the way. Usually, I have my volume dial on my mixer at twelve o'clock. With this one, I had it all the way at uh, 3 o'clock. So I went from zero all the way here. And it tells me that perhaps the mastering was just, it was a, the master was a little low. Uh, and it could be due to the lack of the sub bass uh, that, that some of the power was taken out of it. Uh, regardless, it's just a technical thing. It doesn't take anything away from me. Like, I really enjoyed the song still. I just have to turn it up a little bit louder. Uh, but just, just some things that I noticed. The other thing I noticed was that they pulled off that rock grunge vibe without a single guitar. At least any discernible, noticeable guitar, because I didn't hear any guitar until that little carnival transition. Uh, that was a guitar. 
but through the strongest parts of the song, I didn't hear a guitar, which is really, really awesome. I never thought something would give me a Cranberries vibe without a guitar because they were a guitar driven band. Okay, they, holy shit. Okay, we definitely need to check out more from them. Is this an album? Like, do all their songs sound like this? Is like, is this just what they do? Either way, their voices, they sounded very at home in this and their voices and their performance sounded very at home in this. And this was really nice. I'm totally curious now. All right, we're definitely gonna have to look more into them. If you enjoy this content, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you next time. Peace.